Hey guys, K to be here. So it's a lot sooner since so episode four. What what don't we like about this boiler? What's it's got on it? That all your other boilers have had something different. What's this one got on it? Nip. Yep, it's gonna get Japanese. nipped. And Chinese on me. Yep. Yes. And it's cheap, lazy as well. So today we're running a feed up for a 13 amp fuse connection unit. My granddad wants it in the cupboard low down, so we're going to put it up there. How are, we, how are we getting it out, granddad? Where's the power coming from? The feed underneath the sink. The socket, it shouldn't even be there, should it? It's from a water feature. Yeah, I know, but it shouldn't be. Look at the way the wires are right around the water. Jesus Christ. Can't wait to bloody take that out. Be the best thing for it. Why not? That's fucked, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Right, so we've got our 32 mm Patris box to go on that bit of wood, so they want it quite low down. And it's gonna be wired into a fuse connection unit. So it's going into a fuse where the power is coming up from that old socket we've just drilled through the wall and it's all cable clipped in the cupboards going through where it should be going it's cable clipped so it's no risk of anything and it's cable clipped on top of the side so yeah we're just gonna get this that hole drilled into the side we got some good news go and open the cupboard and show what we got installed huh? well nearly what have we got the foundations for Mm -hmm. What have we got the foundations for in the cupboard? To um, pick up the feed from there. The feed from there, which is down there. Not quite done yet. Hidden all the wire underneath. Pops up this end. Put in a bit of trunk in. Put your trunk in over it to hide it. And then uh, Bob's your uncle. The fuse spur. Fuse spur. Yep. The wire from the the original the plug, plug going in this fuse connection unit. That's it. Do you want to show our fuse connection yet? Yep. And Go on, a, show up. Is that nice? What brand is that? New Tucker. What brand is it? Snyder Electric. The Snyder Electric. We only use the best. Yep. See with Snyder Electric or MK now, isn't That's it? it? And it goes on top of that, like that. Very smart. Yep. And it's got the trunk in. Trunk in. White trunk in. Look at that. Yep. You know. Good news. The plug is free. Only for the microwave, or maybe if you don't even want the microwave plugged in it, it'd just be an empty socket. However, Terminated. We just need to terminate it at the blanking plate now. Granddad, what's your opinion on it? Yeah. 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 Looks lovely, doesn't it? All we've got to do now is get it working. Yep. The boiler's in shock that it's working. It's saying fucking hell because it's wired to a fuse spur. Pro, it's wired up properly. <laughs> it's in shock that it's wired up properly. Fucking good. Fucking hell. <laughs> the machine's in shock. <laughs> It takes, how long does it take? It takes about 13 minutes to correct itself, doesn't it? Supposedly, yeah. 13 to 14 minutes, yeah. And the pressure thing's moving about, so that's a good sign, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. It's in shock. <laughs> okay, so, you may remember a few episodes ago, oh, about 15 or to go, 20, whatever, we put a socket on this side of the wall. It has worked for ages, however, it's a stupid location. It's it needs to move somewhere around here because it's not it's not you know it's not practical behind this sofa and obviously bending down it's stupidly low down as well. But then before it's stupidly high up. However, my nan requested another one to be added. 
I'm going to do that via a fuse connection unit via the roll off spare once from a ring main we've done that from the front room socket if you want to go any further you use a fuse connection unit so fuse connection unit we're following that roll and the fuse spur will be running this one socket here so let's get this stuff moved and do it let's move that socket first granddad is in there at the moment because we've run short on trunk and we've got the last roll left so we're gonna go to cities and buy some more trunk and to go down here for a new socket so let's go there we need some more off sleeving as well okay granddad what's beside you now that wasn't there well, gonna be. What's the foundation, sir? A double plug. Trunking's been laid. Trunking along there. Going up the wall up to the a wall fuse to connection. A double plug. A fuse connection. Yeah, the fuse spurs for this, because obviously spur wants a ring main. If you want to go further, you have to use one of them. What was annoying about CEF, though? The trunking. What trunking didn't they have? They gave us a little bit more work. Oh, yeah, they gave us. Uh, they didn't have one with that the adhesive pad. Without the sticky bit. Careful, don't. However, we've you know we've done pretty well. Now me and my granddad just gotta lay in the wire for it. We just gotta lay fuse spur going there. Obviously that needs to be sleeved as well, because that earth wasn't sleeved. So we need to get a bit of sleeve around that. The double plug we're gonna take the other one that we had on there and just put that one back because that's a PMS there's nothing wrong with that and our new one what brand is our new one granddad? it's gotta be a a yeah yep who is it? PMS yep because we have PMS down there and the way this house is wired though that's on a radial on another complete circuit breaker this one will be on the ring main that one's on the ring main. However, we reckon 2004 again because there used to be a 60 single that we replaced ages ago. However, we reckon in 2004, instead of replacing it and converting it, they've just kind of made it a nip under it to bring in um, new bits of 2.5 to um, be able to put in these two double sockets. There was two. There used to be one there, one there. However, the feed's okay and the wire's okay, so we're using it for a new socket. Then we're going to go lay our wire down there. Okay, go on, what's the good news? So we turn right. the power on. The good news is two greens. Yep. Two greens. Correct. And two greens. Correct. And what was that one? That was... That was correct. Double pole. C correct. With a thingy on it. A what? A what's a thingy? As um, a thingy. Refuse connection unit. That's you mean. it. Yeah, give it a press. There you go. Oh, that's it. And another good job we've done. Yep. All the trunking comes down in the corner. Same brand as well. It's all same width, same size. Going up to the socket. And there's a double socket there now that my name can use for whatever really it's just a whatever socket as long as that fuse spurs on there's nothing telling us it won't work we used the old wire up well didn't we granddad yeah. being economical there we go the socket is on powered on I had no problem with that we've got the CD phone connected and we're just in the progress of moving stuff back fuse spurs wired double socket is working stuck the socket tester in so yeah that, there was no other choice for that because that was in the corner. This would have been the spur socket from where it was originally. We could have put a socket back, but <laughs> oh well, it's all right. We got PMS accessories there and the trunk in with the little up adapter. So it goes into the bottom of the socket. That's okay though. My land don't care, it works for her and that's what she needs. Now she wants a plug on this old um, like you know LED light the things that show off the stuff you've got type thing so we're going to do that now every company made this was just cheap and lazy because the switch is obviously you know sealed however red and blue that's the old red colours should be brown and blue 
But oh well, it's got adequate ends. When I don't get what kind of plug it is, it's just going to have a white first performance plug top on it with a 3 amp fuse included plugged into it. Obviously, the fitted with 3 amp fuse sticker, I've removed that. So I'm going to get on now to it. Let's get it on now. Here we go. Got the socket on and the light is shining bright. It's only a little under cabinet light, but she wanted it repaired and there we go, job done.